morning guys it's 5 a.m in the morning i'm in la because i'm shooting in jk news this week but before that i'm gonna go to barba brigade to train first thing i do every morning during this bodybuilding prep is to check my weights Ooh, 172.46464646 there we go a new low baby hell yeah Something I'm excited about today is I get to wear some new new. Anytime I'm able to wear some new gear, it makes me really excited. So I'm gonna flip it around. We got the brand new Wrecking Crew T. Looks fucking hard for all the motherfuckers that go hard in the gym. And also the new new five inch inseam amphibious shorts in white tiger camo. I've been wanting to rock this for a minute. We just got this in. So I can't wait to shoot some content in it. Looking pretty crispy, right? Look at that, I think we nailed the inseam. It's perfectly like just at that length where it looks athletic. There's unrestricted movement, but it's not too short where it hides underneath your tee. Bam, and I don't need to fold up the waistband. See, it goes too high now. Perfect, hell yeah. So I'm at grandma's house and it's early in the morning, so I don't wanna be too loud. But today I'm gonna walk you guys through a full day's worth of meal prepping and eating for this bodybuilding show. And right now my macros are like next to nothing. I'm pretty much at like 1400-ish calories, but I have to hit 220 grams of protein. I have to hit 60 grams of carbs, which is nothing. Like a bowl of oatmeal is 30, that's already half, it's gone. And only uh, 30 grams of fat, which is like three tablespoons of olive oil for the whole day. And usually nutrient timing isn't really that important. Like as long as you're in a caloric surplus or deficit, you'll go towards your goals. But since I'm only two and a half weeks out from the show, like my macros is so small that um, nutrient timing is a thing for me. Like whether or not I eat before I train, eat before I film, eat before I have a meeting contributes to the performance of the following activity so much more. So this will be my first meal, oatmeal. It's 160 calories, kind of sucks because it's 33 grams of carbs, so that's half of my carbs of today, this one little packet. Um, but it's really important because on my lower body days, if I don't have anything uh, in my stomach, I will literally dwindle. Like after my first one or two sets at 1400 calories, like I'll just feel my body fade away and I don't wanna complete the workout. So I wanna make sure I get a really good workout in because when you're at this hardcore of a deficit, it's really important to push the intensity to let your body know, yes, I wanna get smaller, but no, I don't wanna lose muscle. So um, yeah, this thing is 160 calories, has 33 grams of carbs, which means it already wipes out half of the carbs of today. So the rest of the day, I will be monitoring carbs like crazy. Cool thing is it's pretty easy to make. You just mix it with water and then make sure it's kind of thorough so all the dry powder gets a little bit of the liquid and then put it uh, in the microwave. Make sure you get it in a, a big enough bowl because it will rise so you don't want it to like fall out. So you actually can't eat it right away because you want it to sit for another two minutes to thoroughly cook the oats. So I brought the bowl in the car with me to save time. Because when I'm in LA, it's also action packed. Like today we're gonna be filming from 9 a.m. until 7 p.m. But I still wanna squeeze out a workout, which is why I have to wake up at five to cut through LA traffic to get to Barbell Brigade and then cut back through LA traffic to come back home to be able to shower so I'm fresh and clean to be on set and film. One trick that I do do, that I do do, 
uh, is to maximize this oatmeal because one packet to me, it's, it makes me very happy right now to be able to get in a little bit of carbs, but I could probably eat three or four packets on my own. Like I have a monstrous appetite. So um, to trick myself, water is key. So I'll down this entire bottle of water while I'm eating that oatmeal to trick myself into feeling like I have more food than I actually do. And I'm actually probably just gonna start chugging and eat right now. So by the time I get to the gym, I can take the pre-workout and I'm pretty ready to train. got to barbell and like I said I was hungry <laughs> nothing left in here finish my water um, I'm about to film all my workout sets but I won't talk in between for the sake of time because it is now 620 and I need to get out of here by 820 at the latest <laughs>
finished the workout. If you guys are following along the Stub Muffins program, you might be like, what the fuck? I've never seen that workout in the entire program. And you are right. I had to Frankenstein some stuff together because this week we had a big photo shoot for the Wrecking Crew collection. And that's kind of one of the tough parts of balancing uh, fitness as an athlete and also fitness as an entrepreneur. Entrepreneur and business always comes first because we feed our family and all the other families that work for us. Um, as an athlete, that's more of like a personal, private goal. So I never let that get in the way of people's income. But because of that, I had to shift some things around. So I went with squats because I didn't really get a good squat in uh, during the photo shoot. I went heavy and uh, technically it's a PR never hit 435 for two. Um, at 172. Also, I didn't feel like I went deep enough. So on the second set, I did high bar, trying to go as deep as possible. Then I really wanted to push myself on the single leg press. I feel like that has been tremendous in my quad uh, development. This block, as well as my squat stability. So I really wanted to push that. That was like my main, main, main focus of today's training. And then everything else was what I felt like I didn't hit or didn't get good enough stimulation the last two weeks. So it's really heavy on hamstrings. And then I saved deadlifts to the end because I did deadlift for the photo shoot. Um, so I still wanted to kind of ingrain that, but just to make it a little bit harder without taxing myself too much, I did a harder variation. I did a stiff leg and I lightened the weight and did higher reps. So I can still get some glute stimulation, ham stimulation, and still get the feeling of deadlifting without taking a complete week off of deadlifting. I'm done now, but bodybuilding is a 24 seven sport. So just because you dieted, just because you trained, doesn't mean it's over. I still have to hit my steps. Like your, what they call NEAT, your um, non-exercise activity thermogenesis is just as important as everything else. That's what helps you get lean. Like bodybuilding is a two-part component, right? Trying to build as much muscle while reducing as much fat as possible. So you have to focus on both ends. I'm trying to hit 15 to 16,000 steps. I'm only at 3,000 right now, so I gotta get my walk on before I hit JK News. Just showered up and ready to go. I'm pretty happy because I get to rock the other colorway for the Wrecking Crew tee and also the new other uh, shadow tiger camo. So in order to be extremely prepared, I already set aside my entire meal for today. And I know it's not much at all. So for lunch, I'm gonna have these bad boys, pretty much only one patty. I pre-made it before I came because everything is in preparation. So this is enough food for two or three days, I would say. But I have a couple patties here that I'll have. I can have exactly two buns. I highly recommend this keto bun brand because it's super low in carbs, see? 16, so I get to have two of these. That's the other half of the carbs of the day. And then for a snack, I have a 0% fat uh, Greek yogurt and then this is a no sugar added peaches so it's actually not very sweet and this is only 30 calories so if you add these two together that's 110 calories so if I am hungry and I need a snack I got this this will be my lunch right here my dinner is um, marinara chicken breast and I made three pounds of it so this will be enough for the next couple of days and I'll put the screenshot of my fitness pal in here too, because having such low calories and being able to meet that is all about preparation. Like when you have to wait till you're hungry to decide what you eat, you're, it's really hard to make good choices. So it's easier to just have the next day planned out. And so I'll type in everything that I'm gonna eat the next day and I map it out where I get to have something every couple of hours, starting with the oatmeal I had in the morning, then I'm gonna get to JK, maybe chill for an hour or two, have a double scoop of Bardo Brigade protein shake, wait a couple hours or two, probably have you know my lunch, wait a couple hours, then have my frozen yogurt, then uh, get to come home and have the chicken. So I map it out every two, three hours so that um, as soon as that crazy like hunger monster hits, you have a solution for that. And I'm gonna be bringing in this cooler because it's time to go to battle. I'll show you the delicious temptations that's at JK News. Good morning. What's up, dude? 
What's up, dude? Oh, are you guys Jackie matching? Cam? Yeah, we are. Because oh, yeah. we're friends, man. Oh, Why don't okay. you match us? Yeah. Oh, I'll try. What's up, Cam? Hello. See, these are all the delicious snacks I'm going to tell you guys about. Right. Flamin' Hot Cheetos. Quest chips, that's delicious because I can't afford those. I like how you just said Cheetos even though there's tacos. Tacos. <laughs> variety packs in there. What? Oh. You said just Cheetos, but there's variety packs in there. Everybody yeah. likes the Fritos Funyuns, too. You gotta Fritos. props to the Fritos. Yeah, Funyuns, Fritos. Oh yeah, the Fritos. Shrimp chips. We got fucking Madeline's. Oh, oh my, this is my favorite. The butter putter, not a chop of high. Uh, the real question is how much of that is expired already? None, dude, you're talking about you're Asian, nothing ever expires. <laughs> so I got just a little bit time before we start. Instead of socializing and catching up, which is what I want to do, we got to stick to goals, right? Because I have my steps that I have to hit. So 15 minutes could be maybe a thousand steps, or it could be not a thousand steps, not hit your goal. And so um, being able to space out your steps and everything it's really really important to kind of align yourself because who doesn't like hanging out and uh i feel like there's all this bonding that happens but we'll get there goals first and you know true friends will always support you in what you do and true friends won't lack bonds just because you're going on for a walk but i do want to hang out we got joe out here getting his steps into living the fit life hell yeah oh 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 so that was 5,000 steps before it even turns nine o'clock. So that's how I like to break up my day, uh, break up a big goal, like 15,000 steps into thirds or even quarters. So if I can hit 5,000 steps every three or four hours, then by the time it gets to nighttime, I won't have to cram and I won't have to like jump on a treadmill and do like two hours worth of cardio, you know? So I hit 5,000 here. Um, in between takes as soon as we they yell cut i'm gonna just stand up and just start walking around and you'd be surprised how many steps you can actually get like when i'm working out of the office at home sometimes i'll just set a, a timer like every hour on the hour just to walk in place for five minutes and just by doing that so not even doing an intentional like 30 minute walk or anything i'll hit like 8,000 total steps after a work day so it can be done you just gotta be efficient and be proactive about it but it's about to be nine so i'm gonna go inside and uh get ready to film right, would so be today, and we're then taking a little break it's 11 30. No, i've been tacos starving today. the whole time tacos i've today. been trying to push back my order? next meal as far as possible so i can stay fuller and not have to snack okay. so now tacos i'll today. be making sure. a where well, they have delicious tacos I have to make a protein shake. I'll get 15 grams, 50 grams of protein here, and then my next meal will be that stupid ass burger you saw just, the just So this is a specific vlog. Uh, both me and JP have an episode of just what we're eating in the whole day. The body we right. need to see you drink this so Coach JPG knows that you're actually drinking your protein shakes. I'm around. Look at that delicious burrito. Oh my God, is that guacamole? Dude, that's insane. That looks delicious. Every Tuesday. So Sorry, here's my. Have this one three years. So <laughs> no Sorry. worries. This is my fucking bullshit ass. Like 96 four patties. And then I'm gonna squirt a little bit of ketchup on there. And then I have sugar-free ginger ale. This will be my lunch. Ding ding ding. Yeah, that's not bad though. I'm right, using my one taco. And that's that's it. pretty cool. No jalapeno. No. Have it? a really dry burger. Yeah. Yeah, so it looks fun. good though. Up, no, it doesn't. Look at the guacamole on this. You know what's nope. funny? No. I even ordered. You can't have a little tacos. guacamole. You can't have a little guacamole on there. No, look at everybody's. What about some salsa? Look at everybody's food. Look at that. How many calories do you think that would be? They're, they're, they're like they don't know mm -hmm. what extra is. I don't want to put salsa in my burger. Sure. Yeah. It's pretty good. You sure you don't want to try? No, no, no. All right. So you guys just saw me eat lunch. I've been getting up to get my steps in between takes, and I just did a couple laps back and forth. So here's an update at around 2 p.m. I'm at 93, 9,300 steps. So about two thirds of the way there. Just gotta make up another 5,000, which is gonna be easier now because I'm already almost at 10,000. So um, either in between, I'll catch up to maybe 11 or 12. And then after JK is over, I'll do one giant lap, which is about a mile. And I realized every mile is about 2,000 steps. So if I do two miles, that's 4,000. So that's easy. So in my mind, 
the, the bandwidth is already good. I feel confident. I just got to make sure I can mitigate the hunger and I'm going to have a very successful to the T day. All right, guys, just finished filming today. It's about 7.30. I ended up the day with 11,500 steps so far. So I am short about 3,500 steps to hit 15,000, which is why now I'm on a walk. 3,500 steps, I think you probably get there in maybe 30, 40 minutes, but I'm just gonna dedicate the next hour to walking so that I can get extra, because uh, I am two weeks out, so it is always good to be in a little bit bigger of a deficit, a caloric deficit that is, and you create that through increasing your activity, decreasing your calories. So if you can expand that deficit on both ends, like how much bigger it grows versus just decreasing your calories, right? So you wanna try to go like this, then you kind of have like a synergistic effect. So that's what I'm gonna do. I am starving. Can't wait to go home and eat that marinara chicken. Finally made it home. Ended up with 18,000 steps. So I beat my 15,000 goal by 3,000. Gonna finish up with my dinner. This is the marinara chicken breast that I pre-made before I came down here. So I have about, um, I would say maybe three pounds in here. Took about a pound out. Gonna put this in the microwave. This is a super lean, low fat, literally like zero carb dinner. And I'm gonna eat this. So that's it for dinner. I'm gonna eat my chicken, just pull out a microwave. And I got these lovely, delicious onions that Gio's mom makes. They're like preserved, like I call them onion kimchi. Then I got just lime water, so it's zero calories. Um, that's my whole day's worth of bodybuilding prep. Got my training, got my diet, and then also got my steps in. Um, hope you guys been liking the Stud Muffins journey. Stay tuned for the next episode. Peace.